wing, uh, David Williams and Steve Turner. Centers are uh, Joseph Lailu and Chris Lawrence. 5'8", uh, Jared Hain. Halfback, Mitchell Pearce. Drop forwards are Keith Galloway and Tim Manor. Hooker is Robert Farron. Back rowers are uh, Ryan Hoffman and Corey Payne. And the lock is Levy Mateo. And in the interchange bench we have Aaron Woods, Jason King, Jamie Bura. Um, Jared, quite late, yeah. really good shadow today. Yeah, I've always been a fan. I always thought he's got a real presence, Jared. You know, if I was defending against him playing 5 8, constantly watching where he's going. And from my thoughts, he's in the game the whole time. And full battle, he can go in and out of the game at stages. And I think this way, he's in the game the whole time. I think I don't know if I'd give him a chance or ask him to do that enough. So I'm just a fan of him. Mitchell hasn't been a great corner for the Roosters. I mean, it's only concerning that maybe Washington and Garrett and Eric is being able to play against the play of one night and suddenly it's more Mitchell. Thank you. What are you mate? What are you mate? Mitchell? Mitchell? Oh, I think their side's going on. They're pretty good ones, but Mitch. Um, they play a different game to most sides, so you know, they shift the ball. So a lot of the stuff you see Mitchell do, his passing and the way he's sort of setting up play like that, it's been common. Defense is all right. Terrible yesterday. Yeah, if he's good, I think he plays good on Sunday. Riggy's uh, he's come across to move like it's an option, so which is a good thing too. Puts pressure on Kane. I think he chose the country forward and puts pressure on their hearts. I think they're big games as well, so I think it's uh, put them all on their toes. So what do you guys do? I guess in the next seven days that Parramatta haven't been able to do it. Three years. Yeah, well, sometimes when you walk away from your team when times are tough, it's refreshing to ride up. And I know I've been out here at Penrith this stage when we are going pretty ordinary in the early 90s and playing Origin. And going in there and just relieved that you were around people that were winning. You know, it really hangs around the whole locker room. So uh, there's an actual bit of a relief. So we come out and train that much this week. You won't be showing you videos of Paramount against Granada. And you won't have to worry about what he's done the first several weeks. We'll be worried about what he can do so much. How hands on are you going to be with him this week? Um, I don't want to fill his head with too much. He's a good enough player. Just, uh, if Mitchell can get us a chance to be in the game, I think Jared's a chance to be a good 5 8. So, no, hopefully, our forwards are good enough to hold their forwards and um, let those blokes show us. Right, you've met Nate Brooke Farrar, it's quite a couple of knocks today. Um, Thanks, Greg. He's fine. Um, <laughs> any other players that weren't available? Mate, there's a few actually. I think Ben, ben Chai, uh, Lachlan Cook, which is the Keith Galloway's a good chance. He's a 50 50 at the moment as well, so yep. we've got plenty of blokes penciled in. Um, it's only one game, so you know, it's an opportunity for a lot of blokes. Yep. And the blokes we've chosen, hopefully, will save that. Thanks everybody.